Think about this, guys. If I would have said, I make over $3 million a year in insurance commissions, and let's say I fall short and I make 2.2, am I gonna be mad that I made 2.2? No. Another one here is, I make over 500 grand in affiliate income per year. That was my goal last year. I made more than that. I make over 100 grand a year private lending. I made more than that. Most people, what they do is they say, I want to make a million dollars a year. I want a new Lamborghini. I want fill in the blank. If you do it like that, the goal is always out there. In your mind, your mind doesn't know the difference between now and in the future. If you say, I want, you're always going to want it because you'll never have it. So what I do with my goals, guys, is I... This is the Mr. Burr Show. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Today is a solo episode. Usually you guys have me speaking with someone sitting across from me interview style, right? Today on the Mr. Burr Show, it is just me. And I'm going to share with you guys something that has actually given me a lot of success over the last few years. And you hear it talked about quite often, but I'm going to give you guys how I do this and hopefully you get value from it. If you do, I would just really appreciate for you to share the episode so that way other people can get the same value. And if you're listening to this on YouTube or watching it, I should say, go ahead and subscribe. If you haven't already hit the bell so you get notified when I put out these videos. So guys, what we're going to talk about today is setting goals, the importance of setting goals, how to do it. What I do is I set goals and I write them down on a daily basis. Now, I have goals for monetary things, you know, like how much I want to make throughout the year. Um, I have goals with my health, how healthy I want to be, what I want to look like. I have goals with my family life. So things of that sort, basically covering all areas of life, not just I want a brand new car, you know, not just I want to make $5 million a year, whatever the case may be. Most people look very singularly focused at when they look at goals. So what I do, and again, this is just what I do. If, if you get value from it, implement it, um, maybe take some of the things that I do and you can put your own spin on them. But I try to have goals for every aspect of my life because I want to be wealthy overall. I want to be wealthy in all areas. I don't want to just be wealthy financially and then be sick all the time because my health is really bad, you know, sluggish and tired because I'm eating horrible food all the time. I don't want to be in really, really good shape and really, really healthy, but be broke. <laughs> you know, I've, I've been there before. When I was a bodybuilder, I actually was in amazing shape. I got down to like 3% body fat. My abs had abs, all right? But the thing is, I was broke. I had hardly any money to my name. I was working several jobs just to get by. I had to file bankruptcy at one point. I had to move out of the apartment I was living in with me and my daughter. So that's not wealth. Wealth is when you have everything all areas of life just clicking. So that's the way I do my goals. And again, I write them down every day. Sometimes I forget because I just get going throughout the day or whatnot, but there's a couple of things that I do to help me from forgetting too often. Okay. First thing I do is I have a calendar reminder, a reoccurring reminder in my phone. Okay. So on my iPhone, I go into the calendar and at every morning, um, I believe I have it set at 6 a.m. So every morning at 6 a.m., it says, write down goals. So that way, if I haven't done it yet, I go in there and do it. So generally speaking, I'm up at 4 a.m. So 4 a.m. by 6 a.m., I should have those goals written down. And realistically, there's no excuse because it only takes, I'd say probably about five minutes to get these goals written down. 
So again, calendar reminder every day so that I don't forget too often. Um, sometimes I'll see that calendar calendar reminder and I'll be at the gym and I'm like, all right, I'll write them down when I leave the gym and then I might forget, but these are just safeguards to where you don't forget too often. So put it in perspective as of the recording of this, uh, today's date is February 29th. Okay. So, um, let's see, there was 31 days in January, 29 days. So there's been 60 days this year so far. And I'm looking in my notes app. I have written down my goals 51 times. So I haven't done it nine times. I'm not perfect. Nobody is. But again, the safeguard of having that calendar reminder helps so that I don't forget too often. If, if there's 60 days that have gone by in the year, most people write their goals down one time. January 1st, that's it. You'll never hit your goals if you don't have them in the forefront of your mind. You should know exactly what they are. And the more you get them out there, the more you put them down on paper, the more you put them in your phone. I don't write them down. I, I type them in my notes on my, on my phone. So the more you do that, the more those goals are in the forefront of your mind. Okay. And the more they're in the forefront of your mind, the more you're going to attract them to you. Okay. So again, guys, 60 days have gone by this year. I've written them down 51 times. I am not perfect. I wish I could say I've written them down 60 times, but I haven't. So I write them down. I've written them down 51 times. A big reason I've only missed nine times is because of that calendar reminder. Okay. So that's one thing. What I also do on top of, like I said, having goals for all areas of life is I write the goals down as if I've already achieved them. Okay. Most people, what they do is they say, I want to make a million dollars a year. I want a new Lamborghini. I want fill in the blank. If you do it like that, the goal is always out there in your mind. Your mind doesn't know the difference between now and in the future. If you say, I want you're always going to want it because you'll never have it. So what I do with my goals, guys, is I write them down as if I've already achieved them. Okay. I'm actually going to give you guys, I'm going to read off some of my goals for you. Um, that way you can get an idea of like how I write them, what kind of goals they are. So a couple goals of like personal life. Okay. I am the best husband in the world to Danielle. I do everything I can to keep her happy on a daily basis. That's one of my goals I write down every single day. So I'm writing it down as if it's already happened, if it's as if it's already a thing. And the more I do that, I'm tricking my mind into believing that that is the case. And if I believe it, it is true. My actions dictate my beliefs, okay? So that's one for personal life. Another one is I am the best father in the world to Haley in Brooklyn. I do everything I can to keep them happy. They are daddy's girls to the fullest. I write that down every day. Okay. So a couple for like health wise, I am in amazing shape. I hover around 7% body fat. Now, right now I don't, I don't hover around 7% body fat. I'm Last time I checked, I'm around 11, still very, very good, but 7%, if I constantly put that out there and believe it and speak it into existence, it's going to be more true. Okay. So here's the thing. I started having that goal of 7% this year. And I can tell you just because I've written that down every single, not every day, all but nine days, I have gotten closer to it. So coming into the new year, I was probably around 14%. I'm down to 11. So over time, everything worthwhile takes time. Like you can't get an amazing shape overnight. It's going to take time if you do it correctly. So 
over time, I'm going to get closer to that 7% as long as I keep that as a goal and I write it down every day. Okay. Um, I'm in perfect health. I look and feel younger by the day. So again, I write that down every day. So those are a couple of like the health wise goals that I have. Um, a couple of like, um, materialistic goals, you know, something tangible. Okay. I own a McLaren 650 S spider. Um, I honestly love cars. I think it'd be really, really cool to have a car with doors that lift instead of doors that open. <laughs> so that's just a goal of mine is to get a McLaren 650 S spider spider being the convertible. Cause they just look really, really cool. And who wouldn't want the top down in a supercar? Um, so that's just a goal that I have. I write it down every day. I own a summer home in Flagstaff, Arizona. It's another one of them. So in Phoenix, anyone who's from here or has been here, it is hot. It gets extremely hot in the summer. And the older I get, I'm born and raised here. I can't stand the summers. I run hot. So when it's hot, I'm miserable. So I have the goal of just having a summer home in Flagstaff that I can go to in the summers, live there, get away from the heat. I own a mansion with a six car garage. Again, I love cars. So again, these are some of the mon not monetary, um, some of the tangible materialistic goals that I write down on a daily basis. Some of the um, income goals I write down. I make over a million dollars a year in real estate cash flow. Okay. Again, do you guys see how I'm I'm writing these down as if they've already occurred, as if they're already a thing. I make over a million dollars a year in real estate cash flow. I own a summer home in Flagstaff, right? Um, I am in perfect health. So all these things I'm I'm again writing them down as if they've already occurred. Um I make over $300,000 a year on YouTube. I don't right now, but that's a goal of mine. So I'm constantly writing it. And the crazy part, guys, I never wrote that goal down. I never wrote anything about YouTube until this year. And my YouTube channel has taken a long time to grow. Um, three, four years, I grew it to like 8,300 subscribers. I've been writing this goal down now for uh, 51 days out of the 60 of the year. And wouldn't you know it, my YouTube is starting to blow up. I've got like 25, I think almost 26,000 subscribers now as of this recording. And that's only been over the last like three to four weeks. So the more I'm writing these things down, I'm believing them to be true. And then my actions will dictate the outcome of my life. So as I'm writing that down every day, there has to be action involved, right? I can't just write it down and sit in my room and do nothing. I'm on here recording a video that's going to be on YouTube. That's going to help people get more subscribers. It's going to more subscribers. I get the more money I can make from YouTube. So again, guys, these are all things that I am writing down as if they've already occurred. And this is, this has really worked for me for a long time. I look back at some of my older goals and I did them the same way, but I started to see that I was not reaching far enough. That's another tip I can give you guys is when you write goals down, make them big, make them outlandish because I've hit a lot of my goals. And if that's the case, that means I wasn't thinking big enough. So here's what I mean by that. Last year, let me go to some of the goals last year. Let me go to like the first day of 2023, okay? So let's just go to some of the income goals. Super easy and tangible to compare because I know how much I made last year. So one of my goals, I make, again, writing it down as if it's already occurred, I make over $750,000 a year from insurance commissions. So that was on January 1st, 2023. I wrote that down. Last year from insurance commissions alone, that just that stream of income, I made about 1.3. So I almost doubled what I wrote down at the beginning of the year. So obviously I just wasn't 
reaching far enough. Think about this, guys. If I would have said, I make over $3 million a year in insurance commissions, and let's say I fall short and I make 2.2, am I going to be mad that I made 2.2? No. So another one here is I make over 500 grand in affiliate income per year. That was my goal last year. I made more than that. I make over a hundred grand a year private lending. I made more than that. So my point is guys, reach when you're putting goals out there, make them just huge, make them really, really big. So that way you're really, really stretching. And if you hit them, you probably should have thought bigger. If you don't hit them and you fall short, you're still going to be very happy with the number because you're pushing to get to that huge outlandish number. So those are the things I do, guys. I hope it really, really helps you. Um, this was a quick video. Again, solo episode, the first one. Drop some comments. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode. If you want me to do more of these, I will put them together. Um, comment what you guys want me to make a video about, and I will do that. If you guys get value from these, if you want to see more of them, let me know what you want to see, and I will put them out. So until next time, I love you guys. Peace.